Hello everyone, my name is Peter Mortimer. In this video, I would like to give a short overview of our work on the Goose dataset for perception and unstructured environments. Our goal with the Goose dataset is to improve the scene understanding in unstructured outdoor environments like the one here, where our survey vehicle MUKRA 3 is driving over grass and gravel roads. MUKRA 3 is equipped with multiple camera, LiDAR, and radar sensors. For the Goose dataset, we selected the front-facing prism camera to be semantically segmented. The prism camera records both an RGB color image and a near-infrared image from the same camera perspective. The point cloud from a 128-beam LiDAR sensor on the roof, together with two side-facing 32-beam LiDAR sensors, is fused and also semantically segmented for the same scene as the camera image. This means that we have 2D and 3D semantically segmented sensor data from the same scene. We also published the other sensor data that wasn't annotated as well in form of ROS packs. We annotated 10,000 scenes in total. The recording period lasted over a full year and includes recordings of all four seasons and across a diverse set of weather conditions. Our fine-grained labeling policy includes 64 semantic classes to cover both urban and off-road driving scenarios. The semantic classes are organized in a hierarchical manner to allow a core segmentation of the scene as well. In the following example, we trained a neural network on the semantic image data of the Goose dataset to, distin to distinguish between the different road surface types and obstacles annotated in the scene. We observed a robust detection of the road surface and the surrounding environments, such as drivable surfaces just beside the road and different obstacle types as well. The raw sensor data is available as raw specs in a Goose database, where users can select sequences based on metadata information, like the weather condition during the recording, the robotic platform that was used for the recording, or a specific set of sensors that should be part of the recording. The web page for the Goose dataset also provides access to the documentation, which goes into greater detail about the labeling policy and the data acquisition process. The documentation also provides example code to quickly get started with the Goose dataset. Here you can also find the download links for the 2D and 3D training data. If you're interested in further details on the Goose dataset, then I recommend reading our paper or visiting the Goose webpage. Thank you very much for your attention.